there's two things I want to go through during this video. First, I want to go through why we want to use AI to write books. And the second thing is how we did it. So, why is artificial intelligence, more specifically these kind of natural language processing algorithms, useful when you're writing books? Well, to keep it short, it's basically a tool that can generate text and give you inspiration. Let's say you want to write a kid's book about a robot named Bob. You know the general story that you want to tell that is going to take place on Mars. It's going to be about Bob finding a kid that has lost his father and they're going to go together, travel through space and try to find the kid's father. With these key components to your story, now you only need to put this into actual words. And this is where our natural language processing algorithm is going to help. But how will we train our algorithm to write the right kind of text that we want? Well, this is based on the input we're going to give it, which we'll look at now. In order to do this, we have three steps. First, we need to assess the algorithm that we're going to use. In this case, we're using GPT-3 by OpenAI that we used in previous projects. So we set it up right up in the corner here. Second step is to give it some input. And here we're going to use some text in close relations to kids book so it knows how to write a kids book for us. And the final and third step is going to be to check our output and tune our model. But what more specifically do we need to fit in as input for this to work? Well, we'll look at that now. For example, like in my case, I had a book about a giraffe called Ginger and feeding through the machine learning model, we could show it that if we ask it to generate a story about a giraffe called Ginger, this is the kind of output we want. And then we can use this and train it and then continue with the next step, which is basically to just feed in another question of generate a story about a robot named Bob. So yeah, and that's pretty much what we got. This is the book. It's out on Kindle if you want to check it out. I think it's like a dollar. Um, I also know this is kind of a rough situation right now with the COVID-19 crisis. So I'll also link a free PDF version in the description as well. However, something I want to be very clear when we used artificial intelligence to write a book, this is not something that it generated completely flawlessly. Basically, it was kind of 80% of the work in generating the text, but it was a lot of tweaking and changing up the sentences and the wording and some of the actual kind of components of the story as well. So for example, we wanted it to be a kid's book about a robot named Bob who helped a kid and trying to find the kid's lost father. Sometimes the machine learning algorithm basically produced kind of the horror story type of outcomes, uh, which is not kind of what we want when we want to tell our kids a bedtime story. We want something maybe a little bit more pleasant than that. So we couldn't use basically it 100%, but once again, this is not an issue because having 80% of your book and helping you out in your creative process to write the right kind of book that you want, it's a hell of a time saver. And as in the previous video we did about creating musical lyrics, etc., reducing time is kind of a big component when you want to output a lot more content. I don't know if it's possible to do it in video format over YouTube as well later on, but we're gonna maybe try it out sometimes, right? Anyways, thank you for this time and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.